Zack? Hey, what's up? Oh, is it good boy? Who suffers more when we're, we're separated, right? Um, you always miss your dogs when, when they're not around you, and then sometimes I imagine he probably might miss me. At the University of Glasgow in Scotland, Eliana Hersky Douglas is researching how animals interact with computers. In 2021, she developed a dog phone for her 10 year old Labrador, Zach. There's a lot of products coming to market that allow you to video call your animal or track your animal. Um, but your, your dog or, you know, doesn't really have many choices over this technology. And so I thought it'd be wonderful if we sort of flip the narrative of this and instead a dog could make a video call rather than a human calling them and also choose whether or not it wants to answer the calls. But how exactly can you encourage a dog to make or answer a phone call? Any other phone. Eliana Hirsky Douglas studied Zach's behavior and realized that when he wants her attention, he'll often bring her his ball. What I did was on the inside, um, housed inside this tennis ball. Inside the tennis ball is just an accelerator and also a chip and just a battery and some, some other technology that basically connects this ball um, to my computer or his computer at home. That essentially turns the ball into a telephone. It connects to the computer when Zach starts playing with it. But he's not always in the mood to play. I thought he would really love to connect to me. Um, he turns out never to pick up my calls. Um, so initially I was a bit like, oh, this isn't uh, the most nicest situation. Um, but he would actually ring me a lot. Um, and sometimes it was continually. Zach's behavior during the calls varies. Usually he'll show his toy but sometimes he goes to sleep or just walks away. He seems quite interested when Ileana moves the camera around and shows him her surroundings. He started to call me in these regular sort of pants, so often in the morning and sort of uh, like soon after I left, he would give me a phone call and then in the afternoon as well. Um, and there was like a certain situation where I didn't get a phone call from him in the morning. And I started to think, oh, is he okay? Uh, you know, his, when when he breaked his usual pattern, I started to worry about him. It turned out to be fine, but I think it just really highlighted it to me how much of these regular calls had become so much of my routine. The researcher ended her experiment after two weeks. Now she's convinced the dog phone has a future. But until then, lots of research work remains to be done. I guess I have like uh, super big dreams in uh, animal technology. I would really like it if we started developing technology that give animals more control over their life. And so my sort of end goal of this is to really make technology that really improves an animal's life and really improves their welfare. And then hopefully through this, we learn more things about animals than we did before. It may be some time yet before everyone can receive a phone call from their dog. But the main thing is that communication between human and animal works smoothly for both.